Well, that was between innings. As Steve uh, contributed to the Cup Snake. Is he still out there in the bleachers? Guys, I'm never leaving. <laughs> oh, there you are. There I am. We this found you. This is. I don't know. Where's the camera at, guys? My buddy Jake over here wants to know where the camera is. Come on, guys. All right, Jake. We're looking mid first here. Mid first. Yeah, right around there. All right, Jake. Hey, Jake. Can you uh, explain how the cup snake begins? Oh, for sure, Stevie. First off, I want to say hi to my mom, Kelly Johnson, my family, James, Allie, Jim. Love you guys. Basically, the snake starts sixth, seventh inning. Everyone's got a few beverages in. Someone stands up and goes, give me your cups. Give me your cups. You see the snake form up in the beginning. Everyone throws the cups. Now what? Was the eighth inning? Ninth inning? Seven. Basically the eighth, Steve. Yeah. And it goes all the way up. It goes from the all the way up, and that's all form. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Now, guys, I have to tell you, this is not as easy as it looks. I have been holding this up for about a half inning. Arms killing me. Okay. <laughs> that's a true story. And if you let go, it all breaks apart and everybody boos you. Okay. So this is the bleacher activity out here, all right? Well, it seems as though there has been a fair amount of consumption as Patrick Wisdom strikes out against Trevor Williams to start the eighth, which is the essential element of starting the Cup Snake. Without, without the consumption, there is no Cup Snake. That's the only reason there's consumption, because they needed the Cups. They would never do it on their own. It's for the Cup Snake. <laughs> it's for the Cup Snake, Gary. You know, uh, I loved uh, the bleacher bums when we used to come here in the 80s. We would have so much fun in batting practice. We had a game where we'd use one of the players as a catcher, one player as a hitter, and one player as the umpire. We would throw the ball in the stands, and they would pitch, and we would call balls or strikes depending how they would pitch. And if we had a guy up that they didn't like, they would fire at the guy trying to hit him. <laughs> so it was a fun game. Always innocent, always fun. Alfonso Rivas 